Whitmer and Because I Said So with Diane Keaton, and she's currently showcasing her talent as a songwriter with the release of her latest CD, Wild Hope. Please welcome Mandy Moore. Beautiful. Thank you. So nice to have you on the show. Thank you for having me. I'm very excited. So now you're singing. I but am. you always have. I started out singing, yeah. yes. And then and you got into acting in a big way. I did. And yes. as you are, and I don't see getting older, you now you are grown <laughs> up, are uh, you finding finding that you really love to sing and perform yeah. that way? Yeah, I kind of um, segued into the film world, and that's what I've been concentrating on for the past couple of years, but singing is my passion. Where so. do you live? I live in Los Angeles. Uh-huh. Yeah. And have you always? Uh, no, I grew up in Orlando, Florida. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, and so is writing your own songs very fulfilling for you? It must be. It is. Yeah. It's Are, completely different. Is every song on your CD, on your new CD, uh, written by you? Yeah, I co-wrote every oh, song. Oh, wow. That's I know. It's, it's, it is. I'm, I'm really proud. I'm really excited. And creatively, it's just a completely different endeavor for me because I started out when I was 15 yeah. and was sort of shoved into she the studio. She still 15, doesn't oh, she? Oh, good gracious. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but singing somebody else's words and somebody else's music is obviously not as, as satisfying. So this go-around has been just like being able to be a part of this record from start to finish and in terms of choosing who I wanted to work with, with a producer and other songwriters and stuff. It's been so much now, fun. Now, is the band that's backstage, are they your regular band? Well, they are now. Uh -huh. And some of them played on my record. Uh -huh. And even my producer, John, is, is playing bass in my band. So it's nice to have them around. Oh, that's nice. And how do you travel? What do you mean? Well, when you go all together someplace for a performance, are you doing that yet? Are you on tour not yet? yet? Not oh. yet. But hopefully, once the you know the are record you, is out. And yeah. Would I'll you be, be looking to forward to a tour like that? Oh, I'd love yes? to. Yes. That's oh. all I want with this record is to be able to go on the road with it. That would be so great. Well, yeah. Where do you write? I mean, do you write in like your bedroom, or do you have an office, or do you go to an office or a studio? Anywhere. Yeah. Anywhere. I, I tend to find myself writing a lot on airplanes, actually. Like on anything that I can find. I, I try and carry a little journal with me, but I've been known to write on the air sick bag sometimes too just to have something to write my ideas down on so uh um i actually recorded the record in woodstock new york too oh great i wanted to be out of l.a the home of bob dylan yes. and others yeah oh, and oh, it was boy. just so did you, get to, did you get to talk to him I didn't know. Uh, you didn't go but knock on his door? Oh, goodness. No, no, no. I would stay away from that. But You've I, been inspired by some other artists oh, of yeah. his generation, though. Oh, Joni Mitchell yeah. is, like, my idol, yeah. definitely. Oh, she's so. so beautiful. And what a voice. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Mm. I'm quite obsessed. But it was amazing to be in Woodstock and just sort of away from L.A. and away from New York and to really feel that, that energy up there. Do they have a house up there? I don't. Oh, I've been going there since I was uh, a new bride, and oh, I, I really, really love it up there. Yeah, it's a great place. It is. It's so it's beautiful. It's great. It is beautiful, and uh, it is uh, very music-centric. Yes. It is. You feel it. So now, uh, you, you've also been working with uh, someone else I admire greatly, uh, and that is uh, Robin Williams. Oh. When is that movie coming out? <laughs> Can you imagine making a movie with Robin Williams? What a... Uh, oh, how fabulous. It's, it's fabulous, yeah. for sure. Um, it came out on the 4th of July. Um, is it a comedy? It is. It's called License to Wed, and uh, I play um, half of an engaged couple, and Robin plays the reverend at the church we want to get oh, married no. in, and in order for him to marry us, we have to pass this like rigorous marriage course course and it's Robin at his best oh. I mean total frantic antics. crazy oh, yeah, exactly oh my gosh. and on set just like doing shticks and scenes and totally like getting out of character and making me laugh and oh. I would leave set feeling unprofessional every day because I would laugh in the middle of every take well that's good though it probably shows very nicely in your performance um I hope so yeah. I hope they're able to edit around all of my laughing uh, well <laughs> when we come back Mandy and I are going to be making some very charming lockets so don't go away Later, Chef Robert. Well, we're so crafty these days. We're doing crafts in the in the jewelry room. We're doing crafts in the craft room and the <laughs> sewing room, knitting room. But today, um, I thought it would be really fun to show you how to make a locket. Uh, and these are really easy. Making jewelry at home is really kind of rewarding and fun. And you can take a plain, plain locket like this, which is very inexpensive, by the way, at uh, um, jewelry craft stores. And you can turn this into a beautiful locket like this, which you'd rather have. 
the embellished one or the plain one. I definitely would rather have the embellished one. Absolutely. And and you have this one to look forward to to know how to make. I love the green, don't you? I love and it's done green. with nail polish and just little items that uh, you can get from a place, a wonderful store called Metalliferous. Dot com. It's all online. You can just choose the items, and uh, they range in price from 15 cents for uh, one of the very small little metal objects to about four dollars and fifty cents. So I think all of us can afford making to make this kind of jewelry. They're great to have. Also, if you're having a party, you can just you know you you know you can have a girlfriend party and just have all these lockets out and sit around and. That's talk. definitely my cup of tea. Yeah, I, I think love it's very that. fun. Okay, so let's start. It's um, you have all the little objects that you want to uh, put in your on the face of your locket. Inside, you're going to want to put pictures that you really love. Who would you put inside yours? Um, I don't know. I might have to keep that a secret. Oh, though. okay. <laughs> well, I have. I, I'll show you what's inside mine. Oh, there. Now look who's in mine. <laughs> Who are they? My new donkeys. Isn't that the cutest? They're so cute. In lieu of grandchildren, donkeys. <laughs> Clive and Rufus. And maybe, maybe there will be grandchildren pictures in there sometime. But in the meantime, I think they're very fitting in a locket. They are, aren't they're they? They're very handsome. They would be thrilled to be here, too. Oh, they're so cute. They Regular are. donkeys? No, or? mini donkeys. <gasps> Little minis. How big are they? Oh, they're like this tall. Oh, I want one. I, I know you. Everybody does. When I see <laughs> them, know every, they and they cuddle and they nuzzle and they're oh, they're the cutest. Aww. So okay. So now take a little piece of emery sandpaper. Okay. This is this very very fine jeweler's sandpaper, um, and just rough up the shiny part of this locket. Try not to rough up the beautiful border because we don't want to do this. This will just help the uh, nail polish which is our glue in this case, uh, and our color um, adhere better. Okay? And you're very neat. You know how to do this. I can't believe I'm doing a craft with you. I know. It's really so cool. <laughs> so I'm going to use the orange so that I'll get something that looks like the prototype, and you have that beautiful green, unless yes. you want to make something red. I kind of like the green. I, I love that iridescent green. So now we're not going to brush it on. We're going to actually pour on a Ooh. certain amount and uh, kind of let it... I don't know exactly how much to put on, but we want enough so that stuff will stick to it. And then just run it around in that well. You don't want it to run out of the area. I might have to use my brush just to help it along a little bit. There. But you definitely want it to go all the way to the edge. So it looks like the back of a cameo. You know how beautiful the cameo uh, shell yes. is? And uh, I've been looking at cameos, and this is, this reminds me sort of like a cameo. How are you doing? Okay. I'm doing okay. Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> you are fine. So, do you craft ever, or do you do, do any uh, any sort of artsy things? No, I uh, wish I did. Aside from your fabulous music mm -hmm. and your I, acting and all those other. I don't think that side of my brain is very developed. I'd like for it to be, but I'm not artistically inclined in this way. And then just start to apply your specific items. Um, I, I have butterflies and leaves and you have to, and then once you place, don't try to move them again, okay? okay. They're, um, mm, these are so beautiful. And try to keep them in, kind of in the area. And then we have some little rhinestones too that are sparkly. I want to make sure that the sparkle, the flat side is down. How are you doing? Oh, gorgeous. Oh, I should be using my tweezers, huh? Yeah, it helps. <laughs> no, it helps because... Or just plop it down with my finger. It's, um... Mm. Little, and these, these tweezers really do help. I feel like I'm messing so, up. So, what do you think? I think it's beautiful. You want to put any of those little sparkly things yeah, in there? Yeah, yeah. It needs I, a little... I, you can use anything here, too, that you see if you want. If there's another little small item that you want. It needs a little color. Okay. Hmm. I'm liking this a lot. Mm -hmm. And then you can give these as presents. You can wear them, and uh, they look. I think they look great in the summertime, too. You know, with, a, with a, just a little sleeveless top. Yeah. And let this dry completely and put it on a gorgeous chain. And Mandy's gonna stick around for us and sing 
uh, a wonderful song from her new CD. And hopefully enjoy your locket. You want to wear your beautiful locket? Yes, I would love to wear it. Coming up, Martha shows you a unique way to display memorabilia with a great back-to-school magnetic board. We'll be right back. Hope, here is Mandy Moore. Everywhere we'll be right back. Thanks, man. On the next iVillage Live Breadwinning Wives Guidelines for Couples When She Met.